guys, it's Jack and Carly Kelly from Imagine Design and Build. We are here at our Torch Lake project and we are so excited to show you guys what we've done here. We've done some things we've never done before and stay tuned for the end because... We have something bananas to show you. <laughs> Let's go. Here we are at the start of our golf course. And who would have thought you'd have a front yard golf course at someone's home? And here we are. We have a bridge that leads us into the golf course. And I wanted this to be super unique. So I figured a stream running below. We have these huge 20 foot con color firs that we brought in. We repurposed all these logs. We have rocks. We wanted it to feel super up northy. And that's what it does <laughs> with the imagined spin, of course. So you come down this hill. I wanted you to feel like you're coming across the bridge in Augusta, just a little bit of uh, rustic style. So you come down, you have a chipping area up top. You have this cool slider hole. It's big, it's comfortable, we have logs, we have landscaping, it just feels really good. One of my favorite elements in this space is the ability that we had to repurpose willow bark. The willow tree is my all-time favorite tree. So to be able to have two spaces where you can hang out is one of my favorite features. The cool thing about these logs is the neighbor cut down a willow tree, which breaks my heart, but they're sitting outside the front of her curb for probably four days and I kept going by them and finally I said, you know what, these things were waiting for us. So we brought them over here, we repurposed them in the design and they fit perfectly. Let's rewind real quick. Our custom tea markers. We met a logger up here, really cool dude. That's where you see all this wood is from. So what's cool about these is these markers can be moved anywhere. So if you want to putt from over here, you can putt from over here. You want to chip from over the hair if you guys are having a tournament, you can set up tee markers wherever you go. That's the beauty of those. We found this super cool golf holder. The logger actually gave this. So this is where they can keep all their putters, all their chippers right there in that log. Coming up through hole one, of course, we got our acrylic golf flags. And this cool repurposed logs, this is where our generator is going to go. It needed a home. So we found these logs, again, from our buddy Jordan the logger. Coming through to hole two, we have these cool tackle block Borealis stepping stones, look like tree chunks. Tackle block's an amazing company, elite players in the game, really stepping it up. Here comes Carly. Let's check out hole two. <laughs> hole two. This is so amazing because everyone forgets about the side of their home. And what we created here, with these logs blocking off the utilities, we, made, we had to make sure that the utilities could breathe. So we ran these irregular logs right down the pipe to surround our hole. And now the side of the house is A1 and usable. At Imagine, it's important for us to create spaces that work in harmony with nature. And that's exactly what we've done here. We got a cool screening along the right side here with our Michigan boulders. So as these green giant arbor buddies grow up, this hole will be 100% private. Over here to the right, you'll see this really cool fencing that we created. One of our team members actually had this idea and we were so proud of him because this was a great sustainable way to create a useful barrier between this space and the next. And the cool thing about it, obviously we have a wood burning fire pit. So here's wood for life. Here we are on hole three. Again, our cool custom tea markers. We found a log in the woods and we figured it's another seat to hang out and enjoy the view. Moving along, this is the backyard space, which the lake people call it the front yard space. And you can see, we call this Imagine Land. There's so much fun, there's good energy back here. We built this thing with soul, man, I'm telling you. So you see what we have going on here? Trampolines, swings, outdoor gyms, a little bit of everything in this space, and that's what makes it so special. Welcome to Imagine's first ever outdoor gym. We are so excited to show you guys this because this was inspired by a trip to Tulum Jack and I took in 2018. We worked out on the beach in front of the water and we thought what better place than Torch Lake, Michigan to recreate something that had inspired us so deeply. So here we are, we've got our chin up and pull up bar. Jack, show them how it's done. <laughs> You'll notice here we've incorporated these hooks for resistance training. We have a pull-up bar as well as a dip bar. We've even, got, we've even got some dumbbells for curls. <laughs> and the beauty of it, we repurposed these trees. These trees could last eight years untreated. And if they're treated, they could last 25 years or to a lifetime. It's trampoline time. 
<laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> so here we have our in-ground trampoline, which is just as fun to jump on as it is to lay on. So this can also be a great spot to sunbathe. And we, of course, have this beautiful view right behind it. It goes along great with the gym. And right in front here, you'll see we have our black McMurray swings which is such a fun feature to enjoy at a day on the lake. <laughs> and if you've seen these before, yes, this is the Imagine Custom Swing Set. We have these at the Peace Park. We've done them at a couple different clients' houses, so get your hands on these, they're hot. We're on hole three here, a 44-foot hole, no seams. And the cool thing about this hole is it drops in this, this little PVC pipe right here and goes down a five-foot retaining wall and drops into another hole by the lake. Let's see how this thing works. Let's go. As you come back up these steps, notice the beautiful five foot retaining wall Jack mentioned, and also this beautiful landscape bed that was created out of this driftwood we found right here on Torch Lake. So that's why we did these cool Hamlin grasses. They won't get much taller than this, this height right here, so they won't obstruct the view much. Now our backdrop here is obviously beautiful, but we wanted to frame the space. So we have these cool custom steel beams, four inch cube steel, with of course our Imagine Custom Planners, matte black. We got a juniper in there. We have some Boston Ivy that's actually gonna grow up and fill these beams. So you'll have almost like a green archway. This is what sets the tone when you walk in the backyard. And we did a really unique paver design here. This is the Borealis Slab by Teco Block in the color Smoked Pine. It turned out beautiful. And what we did here was bring balance and symmetry to our design. These squares also tie in with the square fire pit that you're about to see next. Okay, so moving along, here is our beautiful fire pit hardscape. Again, with the Borealis slab, we laid it on a running bond pattern and ended it with no definitive border. So you'll see this is a very abstract element for us, but it blended perfectly and created the most amazing balance with our clean lines in our fire pit. We got this cool modern fire pit that ties in with everything we got going on. The cool thing about it, you can fit 50 people around this place if you want to, have fun, s'mores, drinking, partying on the lake and just enjoying the view. We found these super cool, flat, big stumps. Again, in our woods, kind of driving around, repurposing things was our idea here throughout the entire process. And I like these because this tree is probably 200, 250 years old, and now it can be cherished forever. Rolling off our fire pit patio, we have one of the coolest things we've ever done here at Imagine. It's an 11 by 11 floating nest 12 feet above the shoreline. We have 30 foot beams tied right back into grade behind you, 20 yards of concrete. This structure is massive, but it doesn't look that big. We have this really cool nest, these cool black nets that Carly found. We figured there's gonna be 10, 15, 20 people hanging on this thing in the summer. All of us boys sat out the end of there. A couple of the guys were scared, but we all sat out. This thing's going nowhere ever. Let's check it out. All right, let's keep it moving. So we have our artificial grass blending through our Borealis from Teco again here. This is our walkway to the front yard and we have one more cool feature to show you. Let's go. Cruising along our walkway here, we come through this beautiful orb. Now we've done stuff kind of like this before, some round elements, but we've never connected them. We have 21 lights from our boys over at Inlight, one of the baddest lighting companies in the game. And we wanted you to walk through this space coming off the driveway into Imagine Land over there and feel like you're walking into a different planet. We're super excited about this place. We cannot wait for the homeowners to see it. They've actually been out of town for the last week. So we cannot wait for them to get home. Thank you guys so much for tuning in to our Torch Lake project. That's officially a wrap. We've been here about 16 days? 16 amazing days. 16 days total, which is a new record for Imagine. Thank you so much to everyone who has supported the journey, commented, left us so much great feedback on the things we've been doing. Thank you to our team. We love you guys. <laughs> Good job, guys. We appreciate you. Let us know what your favorite element was of this project. Mine's for sure the net, but what was yours? Comment below and let us know. All right, Imagine's out. See yeah. ya. See you guys.